Hello, this is Sandy Parker, and I am so happy to be announcing Lighten Up TV. As many of you know, I have been working with women for the last 20 years on how to have a lighter, brighter life. And uh, when I look around at the world, it occurs to me that not everybody is living their lightest, brightest life. So um, there, that comes into play a couple of different things. First of all, um, to live your lightest, brightest life means to go deep inside and ask, what does my heart really want? So when I started doing that, I found it a very um, polarizing question. I mean, what do you mean, what does my heart want? First of all, I never asked my heart what my heart wants. Second of all, I got no answer. It was sort of a blank. So it took me working with a coach or working with a muse a while to sort of isolate some of the pieces. Uh, for example, I love talking. No, everybody that knows me knows I love talking. But I actually love conversations with people that help me understand what is it about the human I don't want to say condition, really the habit that enables us to sort of fall right into place with our story and live it out without really, really challenging. Is it true? So I know for me, I was working as a corporate woman in a, an advertising position. I think I was with Southern Living at the time. And I remember one day I was, like almost like frantic with tension. I remember my shoulders were hurting. Ugh. I just felt this is a machine and I'm in it. But the one thing I liked the most about advertising was I really liked the people. And I always have wanted to encourage people, encourage them to make the choice that, that suits them the best. Um, like I remember one guy was brand new and I didn't want to push him into a decision. So I was really wanting him to do what was right for him. So it was the 25th anniversary of Southern Living Magazine. Oh my gosh. It was a big moment in time. And I was, uh, the ad rep for the Southwest and Tyson's chickens was in my territory because it was in Arkansas. Well, everybody with the magazine had in their mind that Tyson's Chickens needed to have a big ad in the 25th edition of Southern Living all about fried chicken. And, you know, it's a, it's a good idea. I mean, gosh, how great would that be in the anniversary issue of Southern Living to have Tyson's Chicken with a gigantic ad on fried chicken? But I remember this guy. And he was brand new and he was young and he was not at all wanting to make a decision like that. In fact, I think the um, page rate was $50,000 for one page in Southern Living. And so it'd be $100,000. I called him. I asked him. I sent him the information. I followed up with him. He was trying to get the people in his company to give him some attention and nothing was happening. And so there I was in my office and I was looking and my phone was ringing. First, it was the ad sales guy. Then it was the publisher. Then it was even the third person on the line. Like, what's up with Tyson's chickens? What's up with them? And I remember I just thought, you know what? Life is too short. So I this is a little disrespectful, but I actually put them all on hold. I said, oh, can you hold on just a second? I'll be right with you. Hold on just one minute. Put them on hold. Hey, John. Yeah, sure. Hold on just one second. I'm on the other line. Hold on. Hey, this is Andy. Yeah, just one second. I'm on the other line. Put you on hold. So I put them on hold. And I sit there looking at those three lines of phone ringing. And I thought, you know what? They have it all decided. But what they haven't even considered is, is it the right decision for Tyson's? Is it the right move for this guy to make? And their intentions were all about themselves. Now, 
when you're selling advertising and it's the anniversary issue, I totally get that. So this isn't about Southern living and it's certainly not about Tyson chicken. What it was for me was a realization that I don't want to be in the position of pressuring people that I think when you put pressure on things, they dissolve, they go cross wires, they combust. What I want to be about is I want to be an attraction for loving acts that have the other person in mind. Because if it's not a win-win, it's not a win to me. If it's not good for them and good for me, you know what? I'm really not interested. So it was pretty soon after that moment, you know, the moments when the waters part and you get a message. Well, the message for me was, I don't want to spend my life living in that kind of pressure. It's making me sick. It's making me unhappy. And for what? A piece of fried chicken? So that just wasn't for me. So soon after that, uh, I remember going on a religious retreat. And it was there when they were asking, what do you want out of your life? Right? What separates us from the animals? The animals, they function entirely by instinct. They do what occurs to them without the ability to prioritize what they want and, and in what order. So I remember shortly after that, I thought, okay, I'm going to really get my mind around what do I want? This is my life and I want to live it, not live out the story I was told about. I mean, I should have really been happy. I had a company car, I had a really good income, I had a cushy office, I had super nice products to deal with, but it wasn't for me. So I decided that I was going to live my life in the way that mattered to me and that I was the only one that gets to make that choice for me. So a lot of things changed and it wasn't really super smooth. I mean, I got rid of the car. I didn't have a car. I found a car. I got a job and I ended up sort of working out um, the, the logistics to, to be all right. But what happened with choosing to have my life versus the life I just walked into was amazing. It was amazing. And it's a choice I have to continue to make but it's a choice well worth all the effort and all the logistics. But here's what I also know. Sometimes if we don't have support, if we don't have a person there to say, yeah, I think that was what you were wanting. Don't give up. Or how's the action coming? Are you in action? Oh, you're not. Well, what can we do to help you there? So, I think sometimes having a companion or a coach or a muse or whatever you call it, a creative catalyst, whatever you need to anchor your life in the direction that you're headed because it's your life and it's what's most meaningful to you. Well, it's worth everything. I actually think in the Bible, it's the pearl of great price. Remember, um, if um, you know, I'm not a scholar, but it said, you know, and they gave up everything for the pearl of great price. And uh, I did, too. And I wish that for you. So this is Sandy Parker with Lighten Up TV. Our inspiration here is for you to live your lightest, brightest life. Please join us uh, for upcoming episodes. You can find them at lightenupglobal.com on our TV button and uh, where you'll find the archives of all our episodes and more. So I'm wishing you mwah, sparkles and uh, the best day ever. God bless you.